All right. All right. No, Ruby. Okay. I mean, I emailed her after I saw I saw a train wreck and said, I don't know where to get started. I guess I should just say it. I'm in love with you. Oh my fucking god, she's lesbian. Oh my god, I called it so much eight months ago. Oh my god, I fucking called it. Did I not fucking call it? I didn't. I actually didn't. I didn't. I didn't even go near that. We started emailing, and then email turned to texting, and then texting turned to, you know what? No, you don't. Okay. I thought you guys were smart enough to figure it out, but apparently you're not. We really hit it off, to say the least. Oh, to say the least. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to deny that they're talking about, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. 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 Of their collaborative writing process, the Hunger Games actress said, Amy and I were creatively made for each other. Really now? Okay. I can't, I can't get my mind off of Jennifer telling Amy, I love you. I can't really get off of that. That, um, I can't really, no, I, can't, I cannot let that go. I'm, I'm going to be remembering that for the rest of my life, because I'm going to be like, okay, so when she finally s comes out on the news and says she's lesbian, I'm not going to be surprised, because I saw once that she told Amy Schumer she fucking loves her. Oh, okay. We have different flavors. Okay, then you guys weren't creatively made for each other, you stupid bitch. God, it's been the most fun experience of my life. We start the day off on the phone, laughing, and then it goes to texting, and the emailing, and the, you know, the sexting. Sorry, you know I was going to say the word sometime. And then we send each other pages, and we crack up. And by that we mean we go get crack and we smoke it. I'm flying out tomorrow to see her in Chicago. Yeah, Shytown! Mom. It's rather, sorry. We'll write a little bit with her sister, Kim, who worked with Amy when she was writing Trainwreck. Kim. Kim Kardashian? That. No! Yeah. Kim Kardashian's black. Or. something. Is that racist to say? That a black. and that a black person can't be related to a white person? I'm not saying like. Uh, whatever, you get it. I barely have any. I barely have any viewers, so I have a very little chance that someone's gonna get offended by that. <laughs> Swedish teen is too big to model. Too big where? Her boobs? How can her boobs be too big to model? I've never heard that shit. That's a bunch of bullshit. Mid-interview, Lawrence texted Schumer that she would... That she let her secret slip. What, that she has no boobs? I wrote, I just spilled the beans to the New York Times. Is that okay? Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just read the next line. Oh boy. Oh my god. I was so fucking right. I don't have to hide that I know this is about lesbians and lesbian stuff. Oh my god, yes. I'm so right. Oh yes. I knew I was so right. But now I gotta find out if Amy Schumer is a lesbian. What this isn't my life. Don't don't be Don't make a face at me. Don't turn off the video, no! Well, this is a disappointment. I buy, nobody's watching me anymore. This is weird. This is sad. Anyway, she said, and Amy wrote back, that you're gay? Totally. It's exciting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everything. Oh, this video here. Oh, is this a video of them kissing or something? Because I don't want to see that. I'm not, I'm not getting that down and dirty with this shit. Just wanted to know if they're actually the lesbian. If my joke was reality or not. Okay, Cobra Towers arrest. Your name sounds like a terrorist. Your name sounds like a terrorist bomb. Cobra Tower. Do you not think that when you think of terrorist bombs? If you think of a suicide bomber, do you not think of Cobra Towns? Towers. Sorry. Yeah. Any, anyway, 
Saudi arrested in 1996 Cobra Towers truck bombing that dot 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 and I'm not gonna touch that dot 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 cuz it fine for not talking is that Marshawn Lynch boom bitch boom I know he said he just got he just went there so he wouldn't got wouldn't get fined but uh this bitch got fined all right anyway let's let's see all right 75k fine I don't get it, man. Why does this guy have to talk to people? He doesn't want to talk to people. I guess he, I guess he should have figured this when he went to the NFL. Like. <laughs> a new season hasn't quite, hasn't quite an old story regarding Marshawn Lynch. Oh what? The uh, is it? Maybe 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 the beast mode hat. Maybe him being fined for the beast mode hat wasn't enough. I don't even know if he got time fined for that. I don't know. The Seattle Seahawks running back. No strong and no stranger to being penalized for not say and talking to the media. Yeah, I know, I know about that. Let's find seventy-five thousand dollars for his silence following the team's NFC Championship game win against the Green Bay Packers last season. Pro Football Talk reported Tuesday. Well, he didn't. He wasn't silent. I mean, maybe in the post-game show, but he wasn't silent at the, like, like the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl, uh, the before the Super Bowl media, Super Bowl week. Because he, cause he did say some stuff. He said, I'm just here so I won't get fined. And I actually used that as a pun in my, at school. Um, so, actually, he got a little bit handy. But I didn't get fined $75,000. I just got fined some money at school. Is the second find for Lynch from that game. Oh, the first one is the hat. Second, first one's the hat. He also was. Le he also he also was le levied, levi levied. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know these words anymore. Levi had a twenty thousand dollar. Penalty for making an obscene gesture after schooling and scoring a touchdown against the Packers. Oh yeah, that's right. He put his. No, I'm not gonna say it. No. Mm. No, I'm probably gonna get banned from YouTube if I say that. Nope. Not gonna even touch it. Nope. No way. No way. The league did not specify what the gesture was, but Lynch grabbed his crotch after scoring a go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter. Okay, so he didn't put his thing in anyone's mouth so you guys can get that out of your mind you dirty motherfuckers okay all right at the time an nfl official told espn's adam Scheffner that lynch could be fine also could be fined for not speaking to the media and that it could be significantly more than a fifty thousand dollar fine it had they had fined him in each of the past two seasons for such an offense yeah such an offense yeah, it's so offensive that he doesn't talk to the media. Yeah. Who does that really hurt? I think the Seahawks fans are really pissed off at the NFL right now. Especially the Marshawn Lynch fans, if he has any. I don't know. Facebook Spam King. Oh, good. I don't go on Facebook. I have Twitter and Instagram. And I think I have... No, I don't have Snapchat anymore. And I have Kick. Uh, that's it. Spam King faces jail or guilty plea. Oh, a plea for guilt. You know, you, oh, I can't even tell you how fucking creepy you fucking look, you little motherfucker. I cannot even fucking tell you how weird and creepy and just terrifying your fucking face looks, sir. Please get off my computer screen soon, please, after I finish reading this bullshit. Spam King faces jail at a guilty plea. Sanford Wallace, a.k.a. The Spam King. Spam. Spam King. Sp no. No. Not sperm. No. Spam. Spam. God. You guys... I know I'm trying to fix this audio, but I swear to God, I said spam. I swear on my mom's life, and she's not even dead yet. I said yet. She could die any time now, and I'll be cheering. Anyway, Sanford Wallace, a.k.a. the Spam King. Spam King! 
I'm not even going to try this no more. I'm not even going to do it anymore. Has pleaded guilty to sending 27 million unwanted messages to Facebook users. So, how's your Facebook doing? How's, how's that book on your face doing? I think it's safer just to put a book in, and just slam a book in your face and go on Facebook. Alright, where were we? Okay, we're on this page now. YouTube Gaming Launch. What? Google launches YouTube Gaming. Um, what? 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 Complete with Twitch. Yeah, I think that was a website um, made by Dean Ambrose. And if you don't get that joke, I will put it in the description below uh, why that makes sense. Uh, maybe I'll just put, give you a link to the... Uh, maybe I'll just give you the link. Yeah, I probably will just give you a link. Uh, Bobby Brown returns to the stage for his first time since death. Oh, daughter's death. Oh, God. My God. Am I not reading things today? First I, first I called a witch a bitch. Then I said his death when it was his daughter's death. Okay, who's Bobby Brown again? Who's this guy? Brown made a surprise appearance at the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, oh, here. Okay. R&B singer. Oh, is he now? Um, I can guarantee you he's not nearly as good as Jeremiah. But you can try. Escaping a black hole. Ah, okay, Stephen Hawking. I'm getting a little bit pissed off at you, boy. Fingertips numb. Aww. Aww. Little Peyton can't feel his fingertips. Oh, I care so much. I really don't because you're not on my team. National, hashtag National Dog Day. Hashtag that. Hashtag National Dog Day. Hashtag. Na hashtag. 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 hashtag Hashtag Jeff Johns on Twitter. Hashtag pick.twitter.com slash C-R-O-X-F-M-H-P-E. Actually, don't hashtag all those things. That's going to annoy the shit out of people. All right, what's this escaping a black hole thing here? Explains how to escape a black hole. Oh, really? I love it how this guy looks like he's always in such a sassy, in a sassy position. And that's just the way he was put onto his, uh, he was put onto his wheelchair. He explains how to escape a black hole. Okay. If you find yourself stuck inside a black hole, uh, which I don't think we're in one, are we? Um, I don't think you, I don't think a single person can be stuck in a black hole. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I, uh, I'm pretty sure a black hole is going to take a lot of people. Stephen Hawking says not to panic. Oh, really? The man who has been panicking his entire life. Tells us not to panic. Cool. Current science suggests that a black hole's gravity is so strong that absolutely nothing, not even light, can escape once inside. And, um, I should probably not panic because... Because I'm just going to be blown into something, into smithereens once I get in there, probably, right? Yeah? So much stuff in there, I'm probably going to get killed right away. They are cosmic vacuums of terrible, unthinkable power. Okay, thank you. And there's about 100 million of them in our galaxy alone. Thank you. This is helping a lot. I'm not panicking. Actually, I'm not really panicking. I'm not, I don't really care. But at this point, if I was in a black hole right now, I would be panicking. Oh, look at that. Black hole. All right. Including an enormous one at the centers that's billions of times bigger than the sun. I'm going into a black hole. Bye-bye, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, bye-bye. All right, anyway. Um, including the enormous one at the center that's billions of times bigger than the sun. Fun stuff for Stephen Hawking. I almost called him Stephen King. Did I call him Stephen King before? I think I called him Stephen King at some uh, sometime. I think it was right after I read this. I think I was like, really, Stephen King tells us. Nah, I think I said Stephen Hawking, maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll look at it again. And then I uh, laugh at myself. But perhaps there is n hope after all. Okay. What is it, Mr. Science Person Thing? 
Hawking, the most famous physicist in the world, has a new theory about black holes. And when Hawking theorizes, people listen. I don't really listen all the time. All the time. But stop! I want light. Light is good. Much of what we already know about black holes is because of Hawking. Oh, you mean when the when the hawks uh, call on call for each other? That's Hawking. Anyway, in fact, there are even concepts named after him. Oh yeah, the um, the Hawking concept, the Stephen concept, and the idiot concept. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So it's no trivial mad matter when he has a new idea. It's no trivial matter when he has a new idea. It's no trivial matter. Okay, I got that. Sorry, I'm stupid. Sometimes if I find something confusing, I'm going to go over it about a billion times. Alright. Speaking at the KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Stockholm, Hawking argued that information that is sucked into the black hole is not doomed to remain there forever. There's a way out. Really? Is there now? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just go back some more. Let me just, just, let me just, nah, I'm just gonna. Um, let's see, uh, where is it now? Okay, yeah. They are cosmic vacuums of un, of terror. Oh, wait, no, wait. Okay, that's, I, I ruined that. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this. Hawking argued that information that is sucked into black holes is not doomed to remain there forever. All right, let's take a look at this. Current science suggests that a black hole's gravity is so strong that absolutely nothing, not even light, can escape once inside. Keep that in your mind, people. Keep that in your mind. He said, there's a way out, he said. I just said, he said twice, and I must do it, Ed. For decades, physicists have been perplexed by the question of what happens to the information of particles passed through by black holes. Science says it can't be permanently destroyed. But where does it go? In what state does it exist? Hawking now believes that the information never really enters the black hole to begin with. Oh, really? Okay. I propose that the information is stored not in the interior of the black hole as one might expect, but on its boundary, the event horizon, he said. And he didn't really say that. The computer did. What? I'm sorry for Stephen Hawking fans. I'm sorry. Jeez. Don't mean to yell at me. If you've seen Interstellar, which I haven't, but I would like to, actually I wouldn't, you're familiar with the event horizon. I'm not, it's essentially the boundary that, that delineates, delineates, that's what that says, the point of no return. Oh really? Yeah. Once past it, the black hole has you in its nightmarish forever embrace. Oh, so it's going to give you a big giant hug. That's what an embrace is. It's going to give you a big giant hug and you're going to be happy forever. You're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend and you're going to love each other forever. Because boyfriends and girlfriends do that. Yeah. Okay. The particle's 3D information is, con is translated into a 2D hologram and hangs out in the event horizon. Remember, remember, rem oh my god. Remember that concept named after Hawking we mentioned that you never told us what it was. Hawking radiation. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop commenting be before I read the next page, the next line. Before I, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna start thinking before I speak. No, I'm not. Something a teacher would tell me to do. I don't do that. Or photos ejected from a black hole due to quantum flat and fluctuations is what then helps the information escape from the event horizon. The outgoing Hawking particles can, so to speak, pick up the information on its way out of the black hole. Wait. Okay, Hawking particles. Okay. So, once I get inside that black hole, I'm going to become Stephen Hawking's bitch, huh? Okay, that's a thing. All right, cool. I love that. I'm going to be Stephen Hawking's bitch. That's cool. Whatever. I'm going to pause this video here because I'm pretty sure this is running long too. I'm going to do a third and last episode because I my mouth is getting so tired. No Happy Wheels videos today. Uh, today, August 26th. I will upload these videos today. Also, by the way, before I forget. From now on, if there's a day that I don't upload a YouTube video, I will make a vlog about why that is. Um, now, in the event that it's because I lost my voice, I will write out a document for you. And with the yelling that I do on a daily basis, um, 
I guarantee you, I might lose my voice very, very soon. It's going away very quickly. So, uh, that might be a thing. I might just have to write, write out my commentary on a document anyway. But yeah, if I'm ever not making a video on a day, I'm going to tell you why. Like, if I'm depressed about something, I'll tell you I'm depressed about something. Um, but I don't get depressed very easily, so it's got to be something really strong to make me depressed. So that's probably not going to be the thing. Uh, then, uh, or if I'm, like, angry about something, I might just, like, temporarily not make a video. It doesn't mean I won't make a video for the day. Because, like, I mean, I do have school. I make a video usually after school. So if I'm angry or sad about something in school, uh, I might not make a video. But usually school and, um, school and, yeah, school won't really affect me too much. Because, I mean, I am in high school now, but it doesn't really affect me too much. Um... So, like, because I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up. That's what I want to be. Uh, trying to do the best I can with how young I am and how much money I don't have. Um, you know, I start getting a mic sometime. And I'm going to get a webcam eventually. I have a webcam in my computer, but I don't know if I can use that for the videos. Just, like, connect that somehow with the camera. Uh, but, yeah, if I'm ever not uploading video on a day, it's... I'll make a vlog about why it is. Even if I really don't feel like making a vlog or something, I just feel like it's fair that I make a vlog for you guys just to kind of not leave you guys hanging. And I know there's like a few of you, and probably, uh, pro I'm probably not even enough to call a few. But for the few of you that do watch me, I will leave a vlog for you guys to tell you why I'm not making, making videos. Um,. And all that good stuff. So anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye. Which that next time will be right about uh, now.